Perhaps you've met them in a dream. The heroes that walked among us. Their stories taught us how to endure difficult times. For generations, we looked to them for strength, for guidance. Journeys end, but stories live on. Moon Hunters is a $15 PC game where you take control of a hero in a land that worships the moon. But one day the moon doesn't rise, and you are tasked into finding out why. Or, you know, just stumble along the world because really no one points you in the direction. Now, before we get too far into the review, let me just state, this game was kickstarted about a year ago. I backed it at $15. If you feel that makes my review biased... Well, fair enough, but you may want to stick around anyway. The village gathered to feast and watch the moon rise. Everyone sang into the darkness to welcome the full moon. But she didn't rise. The singing stopped. Panic spread across the village. The game is an action-adventure, pixel-based game where you choose a location on a map, uh, kill every hostile creature there, find the exit to the level, camp for the night, and in the morning you do it all over again. On these levels you'll find events like giant footprints, uh, a talking crow that won't leave a tree alone, or random NPCs, and depending on how you interact with these events, you'll gain a reputation for your character. So let's talk about combat because that's what you're mostly going to be doing in this game. Each hero has three attacks. A uh, basic attack, an attack that can slow or stun opponents, and an uh, attack that lets you move or teleport a distance on the screen. You can later upgrade these attacks through merchants that you find in levels. Now, the combat system in itself is pretty simple which is fine as long as what you're fighting is fun to fight. But I tend to find in Moon Hunters that most of the enemies kind of just charge at you. They were kind of easy to deal with by just slowing down or stunning them, and then just hack and slash them to death. Even the bosses in the game, while being a little bit more complicated, are easy to read and don't really change up their fight, their fighting style. The end boss itself is actually quite easy to kill. The few times I did die was usually due to uh, having a large horde of enemies or dealing with enemies that are kind of annoying. And the only punishment to dying is you lose some money and you go to the next day. So let's talk about the events that I mentioned earlier. Uh, you'll find people or things that you can interact with. You'll get two choices, and depending on which choice you choose, you'll gain a trait. So, for example, I once found this very nice blossom tree where I can either train under it and gain the proud trait, or I could meditate under the tree and gain gain the wise trait. Now, I tend... I, I, I tended to find that the traits did mostly two things. One, at the end of the game, you'll get a little story saying what happened uh, to your character after the final battle, uh, which is nice. And uh, the second thing I found traits to do was to block you out of doing other events. So if so, with the Last example with the Blossom Tree, I found out in later playthroughs that if you don't have the Patient trait, you can't do either of those things. They'll say something along the lines of, maybe someone more patient uh, could do something here. Uh, which I just found kind of odd, because I already found it hard to gain certain traits. Why, would, why block me out of gaining gaining as much as I can. <sighs> so I've been going back and forth on the score, and I was pretty sure I was going to give this 
a lower score than I'm actually going to give it. Because I play this game five times. Through five playthrough with five different heroes. Uh, each playthrough is like 30 to 40 minutes. So let's say I played about three hours. And in those three hours, I don't think I enjoyed any of it. It... I, I just felt bored playing this game, which kind of sucks, especially for three hours. They weren't consecutive, but still. But, I, uh, I play, I made a new game to double check, um, to make sure I had the right, uh, number of days this game takes place over. And in that game, I stumbled upon a spirit gate. Now, I've been in levels that had the spirit gate icon before, but I never experienced it till this time. And found the spirit gate. I killed the guardian protecting it. I interacted with the spirit gate. And what it did was it made that character and all future characters be able to talk to spirits. And that felt like a goddamn game changer because in my playthroughs of this game, I'm pretty sure I've bumped into a spirit each time. And being able to talk to them, I don't even know what they'll say, but just thinking that being able to talk to them, it just feels like this... This feels like progress. There is progress you can make with this game where before it just felt like I was reliving the same week just with a diff different hero. Uh, experience different people and it mm, just felt like Groundhog's Day. <sighs> so I'm going to give the game the benefit of the doubt that uh, maybe there's more stuff like the Spirit Gate thing that makes it, the game feel like there's there's progress to be made. Uh, maybe the multiplayer adds something to the game. I have not had a chance to try it out. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, I had a very unlucky five playthroughs where nothing really interesting happened to me. Now with that said, I still feel like the combat system, the uh, trait system... And honestly, the game as a whole feels pretty basic, really. Now, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Which, mean this, which means this game kind of easily falls under a 3 out of 5. I, I, me, personally, I would say maybe wait for a sale, unless you're really into uh, uh, action-adventure sprite-based. Uh, hack and slash type games, but yeah. And even though I that last experience in my last game with the Spirit Gate, I don't think I'm gonna play any more of this game because I have more. I have other games I want to play, and I feel like they're gonna catch my interest a lot faster than uh, Moon Hunters did. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you uh, next review. again.